Okay, I forgot to do, the, I was going to do these in Capricorn, I did the moon cards and I totally forgot. So I'm going to pick these. We're going to do a real quick Aquarius reading. So this is going to be Capricorn and then Aquarius. So I want to, uh... all right, write down one thing you love about five different people. Okay. Engage in random acts of kindness for strangers. Okay. Throw an impromptu party. Make a dinner date with someone who makes you laugh. Okay. Make conversation while uh, waiting instead of checking your phone. I got. I saw plant a garden. Enjoy simple sensory pleasures, a fresh clean towel or ice cold lemonade. They do that in Japan, right? Give you towels. I don't know if they still do that with the with the sea thing and everything, but they used to. Okay. Make a friend who is much older or younger than you. Organize a block party. Okay, it's all about parties here. Invite neighborhood. Uh, invite a neighbor to a uh, dinner. I almost said neighborhood. Okay, potluck dinner maybe. <laughs> okay, reach out to someone you admire and ask them for advice. Okay, set a mutual goal with a friend. Be each other's accountability partner. Hmm. Spend quality one-on-one -on -one time with loved ones. Okay. All right, so it was all about uh, opening up to intimacy, I feel like, that reading. Transformations. Okay, now. Okay, so let's do a quick uh, read since... Okay, Capricorn. Okay, so you might have felt like there's some sort of delay in something. Okay, that's what I got. Okay, and this is opposition energy. Okay, so sometimes, Capricorn, the energy that's been challenging for others in the 12 zodiac signs can pop up. All right, so just to let you know, okay, the contrasting energy. Okay, and I feel like that's the Pluto also. Okay, so... But this can be opposition energy. So what I want to say with that is when it comes to competition, have a healthy attitude about competition. And I feel like that will bring you great success. What is meant for you is meant for you. And then here's like roses. For me, like roses and lavender, it's like a high-spirited energy. So I feel like that's you in this transformation, bringing in change in a new way so for some of you that could have been like streamlining your business getting more organized uh, it might have looked like downsizing to get make more space for something else okay there's that Prince of Wands. Okay, so if you're single, I I want to suggest, yeah, take those actions. You know, date, get out there, take action, move. Okay, so, but I feel like since we just did the Capricorn reading, it was calling for something at a deeper soul level instead of below the belt, above the belt, right? Soul focus, and that's why you feel, I feel like this kind of like, um, Turkish dancer is showing up here. Okay, spiritual, body, mind, and spirit, and remembering to move with that in your experience. Woo! Okay, we're going to leave it there. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so what I want to say is the decisions you've been making, you might have felt like uh, you questioned them, but the improvement is here. And look, Wooly Mammoth. Oh, wow. That showed up the other day. Okay. So the key is... What am I getting with that? DNA. Okay, so also with you, the alchemy of your life, right? Body, mind, and spirit. 
and it's like taking something from the past and making it new okay now for some of you your business was your uh, your baby or children okay so what is that okay yeah there was resistance against the idea of children for some reason okay what is that okay so hmm Okay, so for someone, there was a past lover that you had uh, arguments over uh, starting a family and that kind of thing. Okay, so, okay. So if you haven't healed that, it's calling for you to make peace with that past or a past person or whatever that struggle was about the idea of children. Okay. Now here's the Queen of Wands. Okay, could have been a water sign, I want to say, but could have been an earth sign. Okay, or maybe even Aries, since this uh, lovers is uh, Mars, uh, Gemini. Okay, Gemini Virgo. Okay, so I feel like you're gonna make peace with that. What is that? Okay, so yeah, I feel like whatever that thing was that you gave up on when it comes to the family dynamic, some of you, your tribe or your work is like your family. So it's like you never felt like there was a lack. Okay, so, but that has been a conversation for somebody because it's coming up here. Which way are you going with that? Okay, so I got sensitive energy. I got, see, elephant ears and elephant, mammoth, woolly mammoth. So it's like something from the past had, had you sensitive about some family thing. All right, now. And there were arguments about that. And that could have been the Gemini. The communication around that was not that positive, I want to say. Yeah. And that even caused someone to go out and choose another partner because of it. Okay. All right. And then here is the Empress. So what I want to say is there is that potential to still do that thing Some of you may just decide not to, but I feel like there's some, it's coming up here, so it's wanting to be revisited. Six of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, and there's a little boy here. Okay, so maybe you do want a little boy, okay, or child. I get, I'm getting that. I think that was coming up in Sagittarius a little bit, too. Okay. But what I'm getting here is, okay, so like this is the vortex, the waterfall, the wellspring of abundance that's flowing to you. But notice how it, this looks like a rock too, like density, and how there's like rope tied around that. So, and then this young boy is trying to loosen it, loosen the rope so that it, the vortex will flow. So are you allowing it in? Or did you just put a plug on it, right, with your work? Because I feel like whoever this is, spirit is wanting you to uh, revisit the idea of family dynamic, okay? And if once and for all you say no, that's okay. But I feel like somehow there could be in the subconscious suppression hiding pushing back or something like that and i feel like since we were talking about above the belt right moving into a new phase orchids i feel
feel like that will bring color into your life. Let's see what the moon is. Let's see what the moon is about that. Now this could be someone reaching for spirituality in their life, right? Body, mind, and spirit. Tapping into that wellspring within. Okay, nothing outside of you. Uh, it's not like going on any kind of uh, journey in the mountains or anything like that. It's like uh, the deep dive within. Okay. So sometimes we can just take for granted what we have, right? And everything we have, even our life, is a gift. Okay, so here's a well. See, this looks like a road, but also looks like the rock in the wellspring. Okay. So you may be traveling. New moon and Aries, go for it. Okay. So that's the suggestion. Okay. That's for someone. Okay, what's the next one? Full moon in Capricorn. Take a reality check. That's right now. We have full moon in Capricorn. And it was beautiful last night. So maybe go out and look at the stars and maybe check. There may be some minerals that you might uh, ingest, like in food, right? Also in thought. What are you ingesting? Okay, and take a reality check. Okay, it's like bring in that magical element in your life again. And I feel like that will open up doors for you. Woo! All right, and what's this? Yeah, stepping into your power again where you feel like, and it could have been just paying attention to this and that in the economy and this and that and, you know, but like tapping back into who you really are again. Okay. Okay. Coming full circle. Wow. Okay, so. Woo! Full moon and Leo go wild. Okay, so I feel like you're going to be frisky and feeling good. I'm going to leave you with that.